How you doing guys? You're here with me, LionXV, and today I'm opening the My Geek Box August subscription. So uh, this is a monthly box that I open on the channel. We're on My Geek Box fourth month. Previously was Loot Crate, but the value of the box really seemed to drop. So we've gone for this one, and uh, so far I'm really impressed with it. So let's have a look and see what we have to start with. Okay, as usual, we've got the limited edition packing. I'll put that to one side. And uh, let's start with the t-shirt, because the t-shirt is always, uh, well, usually a good one. Okay, we've got Mars, welcome to paradise. That's cool, that's like a, a, a Mars uh, exploration. A lot of sci-fi kind of stuff links to that usually. Tired of all the radiation, move to Mars. That is a good. There we go, let's put that to one side. And uh, let's see what else we have. Um, before I do, this is a. Seems to be a little bit thinner than their normal t shirts, but it's a black one, so I'll let it go. That's fine because of the heat as well. So, uh, the pop, ooh, a pop vinyl figure. Uh, this one is... Oh, Rita, from the new Power Rangers thing. Um, would have preferred one of the Power Rangers because I didn't like the new villain in the film. Uh, I prefer the classic villain. But um, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Certainly worth uh, a fair bit. So uh, let's have a look and see. Uh, it's got quite a loose fitting on the head. Uh, there's actually a, a fair gap there, as you might be able to see. But that fits quite well. Hang on, there we go. I'll hold her by her hair. And uh, you can see she's got a staff. And uh, quite nicely sculpted. And uh, you've even got some kind of weird backdrop. Don't know what that is. Not bad. Not bad. We can put you there. Perfect. Okay, this is card. We don't need to know about that. Next. Oh, something I'd never played. A limited edition Sea of Thieves. Keyring. Wow, it is uh, limited. These are numbered, it says. And there's 9,995. Wow, that's quite rare then, really, considering that they're going in large subscription crates. But I like that. That looks pretty cool, even if you don't play Sea of Thieves. So that'll go there. And next. Ooh, this is heavy, whatever the hell this is. Um, a collector's edition, favourite pixelated characters. Oh, it's a magnetic pixel board. Wow, okay, let's have a look at this then. So, separate magnets. Okay, let's see. Collector's edition, but I'm opening it anyway because that's what I always do. Oh no, I've knocked Rita's thing over. Never mind. Okay, is this literally just the magnetic boards? Is there any instructions? Let's have a see. Yeah, get rid of that as well. We don't need that. Okay, it seems there's a magnetic... Oh, wow, that's cool. Look at that. And it's like a picture, uh, picture frame. So, once you're done... You can stand them up. And what do we have? We should just be the different colours. Uh, okay, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We've got the mushroom colours, Mario colours, skin tone. That looks cool. The only thing I would have liked is maybe uh, an instruction book or uh, example pictures, but I suppose the example pictures you could always... Oh, wow. That is a strong magnet. And it is gridded. That's cool. Hang on. I suppose because they've given you these, you can make any of these on here. That's that's really cool. I like that idea. 
Okay, and there's some more designs on the front as well. And uh, an official Nintendo licensed product. That's really good. Okay, that's one side. That's something that uh, me and my wife can play on, uh, play with, mess about with, see what we can make. And the last, is this the last thing? Yeah, the last thing we have is the Magic Order. Issue one. Let's see, this seems more promotional gubbins really, because I think it's, is it net, looks like Netflix uh, TV show? Don't know, I haven't seen it. Well, uh, oh crap. Okay, I opened it up to a naked guy, so um, I can't really show the inside of a comic much. Um, Got to make sure I skip that bit, because that was a really bad time to uh, get in. But, uh, yeah, it looks nicely drawn. It reminds me uh, a lot of the um, Punisher ones that I have. So yeah, pretty cool, but uh, again, seems a bit promotional. But with the value of these anyway, we'll get rid of the box now and just check to see if we got everything we were meant to or if there were any variations. Um, so, oh no, sons of bitches. Right, so first off is a t-shirt, excellent, Mars Paradise. Uh, second is a Power Rangers pop vinyls. Which apparently there were four different ones to collect. Shit. Why did I get the crap one? Damn it. I want a proper Power Ranger. Anybody want to swap? Let me know. Uh, yeah, we got the Pixel Craft, the Magic Order Key. Uh, it's called the Magic Order here and it's called Magic Order here. So, uh, there we go. That's a comic by Image. And Sea of Kings key ring pin badge set. What? We buried two different types of Sea of Thieves treasure. Key ring or badge set. Oh, cool. Well, I collect key rings, so it's good job that I got that instead of a badge set. So that's uh, all fine. So let's uh, go have a quick look through the value again for us now. So. We'll start with the comic because it's actually got it on it showing three dollars ninety nine, which works out to about two pounds two pounds fifty. So that's uh, say just a bit of promotional stuff. I'd consider it more than anything. Um, key ring, it's a limited edition one, um, but it's not something I'd pay more than ten pounds for ten fifteen pounds. We'll go for ten. T shirt, I'd say. Again, 10, 15 pounds, put a tenner uh, to make it uh, the lowest one, so that's 20 already. Pop vinyl, now I'm going to have to treat this as though it's kind of a generic one of four Power Rangers because it's down to personal, I don't want it, because I don't want the end result to be down to personal preference more than the quality of the items, because there was an equal chance of getting four. So I'm going to say this is a good pop vinyl worth 15, 20 pounds. We'll go for 15 on the lower side. That takes the value to 35 pounds. And we've got this magnet set, which is probably going to sell for about 10, 15 pounds again, because it's uh, an official licensed product. And it says limited edition on it, which some people pay a bit more money for. So we're going to go for 10 pounds with that. That's 45. And uh, that's it really. So yeah, um, almost doubled your money with the UK crate, unsure of postage packing for other countries but you can always have a look and see uh, what the postage is like to whichever country you would like. So I'm going to treat this uh, crate as a good value for money again so we can keep getting it and next month we can see it in my geek box again. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.